This is Eric. Eric is a Viking. He's all round. That's why he's called Eric the Round. And this is Eric's little brother, Rolf. I bet you don't dare to go out and fight the dragon. <laughs> Eric wakes and coughs. <coughs> of course I do, Rolfie. It's just that... But he doesn't say any more. There is a bump as Ragnarok lands. Ragnarok is a raven and Eric's best friend. He's busy. Eric! There's a damsel in distress, and she is guarded by a fearsome dragon. You must go and save her. Mm -hmm. A damsel? What? A young lady. We must leave at once. It's on an island far, far away. We'll sail in our good ship Hildur. You lead the way, Ragnarok. And together they go down to the waterside where the ship is waiting. This is Hildur. She is a ship, a Viking ship. She is an enchanted ship, so she can talk. Are we off sailing again? Yes, you bet. A long way. And we're going to save a young lady from a fearsome dragon. Eric and Rolf jump aboard, and Ragnarok flies ahead. I'll show the way. We're going to have fine weather, Hildur. Oh, we can expect bad weather. Look at the dark clouds. Oh, Hildur, that's nothing at all. And they sail quietly on. But Hildur is right. The clouds gather and the rain beats down. A terrible storm breaks out. The waves grow higher and higher and the sail is at full stretch. Oh. Eric fights to keep the ship afloat in the heavy sea. Fortunately, the weather changes for the better, and everyone is happy again. There! There's the island where the dragon lives! Yes, there it is! Yes, and I can see the dragon! Here is the dragon. He's very sleepy, and he's not happy today. And there's the dun 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 shouts Rolf happily. I think she looks very sulky. Now I must wake the dragon. We can't fight if he's asleep. Don't get too close, whispers Ragnarok, a little scared. Hey, dragon! We are here to save the beautiful damsel. Wake up and fight! I can't be bothered to fight. Go home. Leave me alone. Are you still here? Then you'll get your fight. The dragon spits a long flame at Eric and his crew. And another one. They start fighting, but Eric doesn't have much chance against the dragon. The dragon teases Eric with fireballs of different sizes. must put out that fire, whispers Rolf. Fire, you're dead right, Rolfie. Ah, no! You'll pay for that, you stupid little man. <laughs> Do you give up? Yes, yes. Take my castle, take it all. But you've got to take that nasty lady too, moans the dragon. This is the damsel in distress. The young lady that Eric came to rescue. She's not very nice. I have to look after her, feed her with chocolates and cake, do the dishes and the cleaning. I do everything she asks me to, and she does absolutely nothing for herself. I do all I can to help her, but she's not nice to me. But then it's you we've got to rescue, says Eric to the dragon. 
Come home with us. We'll build a new castle for you in our back garden. And they have lovely weather for the long voyage home. Now they're all home again. Everyone is glad it ended happily. Now it's time for a party. Hooray!